so. I mean, I, I work out pretty much out of seven, probably probably five. Um, different types of exercise, I try and vary it. Um, resistance training, cardiovascular, like an exercise bike. Um, I used to do weights, I still do some. Um, I quite like swimming, although I don't go swimming as much as I used to. Now exercise can help in managing acute pain by improving joints and muscles back to their sort of pre-bleed or pre-injury status, uh, getting them back to the, moving the way they, they should move and getting them as strong as they were beforehand to prevent further bleeding and further damage. Uh, so, and secondly, sort of exercise can help patients with with chronic pain by once again increasing sort of strength in joints and muscles and increasing or maintaining ranges of movement which allows people to do daily activities far more easily. I think exercise is quite important. Um, my orthopaedic surgeon told me when I had my knees replaced that uh, if I didn't use them I'd lose them. The training is the nuts and bolts of, sort of what an athlete does and I consider for myself that um, the training is the nuts and bolts of keeping me together so I just sort of get on and do it. I always try to do a lot of walking, um, I do hydrotherapy twice a week, um, I try and do exercises in between at home, uh, so yes I do think exercise is quite important. It's not always possible to uh, do it when you've got a bleed um, and you shouldn't beat yourself up about doing it when you've got a bleed. But People with haemophilia will always have good days and they'll have bad days and we all know that sort of on those bad days their pain will be worse than at other times and but on the good days their pain will be less and it's those days then you sort of need to target to try and do uh, an activity or introduce an exercise into their lifestyle and by gradually increasing that they shouldn't increase the amount of pain that they're suffering if they find they're suffering increased pain as a result of participating in a, an exercise or activity they're probably doing too much. One of the best exercises that I that I that I've been able to do is to um, swim twice a week, and doing that has been great. You know, I can swim 20 lengths, and my muscles feel much freer. I did a sponsored walk race for Crusade, which was six miles. And I'd never actually done the Crusade walk before. It raises money for HIV. Now last year. I was involved with it, with the support group I'm involved with. But I couldn't do the walk because my joint was not good enough, my ankle joint. This year, I did the walk and I had to give myself one lot of treatment before, take anti-inflammatories and one lot of treatment after. Okay. But I did six miles in two hours and it rained as well. But I did it. And if I could, you know, that type of thinking. Last year I didn't. This year I did. Uh, you know the only way I could cope with it was was not to give up um, and to try and do as many things as I possibly can. You know, s s sport, um, as leading as normal life as possible, having a good social life, <laughs> going out to the pub, <laughs> taking a pretty girl out to lunch, <laughs> all these things, uh, you know, are, are um, important things in my life. Mm. My attitude has always been that uh, that if you want to do something you'll do it um, and, you, and you're not going to let very much get in the way of doing it. If there's some kid out there now or, or anybody that's in a down period and saying all of this has got on top of me, I mean I've got this far you know and I was there 15 years before drug therapy and I'm still alive Okay, I might not have much of an immune system, I might be on drug therapy, and I'm not perfect, but I'm still there and I've still got ambitions and I've still got drive. And, you know, you shouldn't let that go ever. Being able to keep going, um, I think is important in, in that it pushes the pain into the background. Um, in, if you're at home, um, if, you, if you're sitting around at home just sitting on the, on the sofa watching the TV, uh, the pain can start to take over. Whereas if you keep going, if you k try to keep going in your everyday life and the things that are important to you, 
the paint gets shoved into the background and becomes just a secondary thing that you that's there nagging at you in the background. It's not something that's important.